Hello and welcome to the DAX commentary for Tuesday the 25th of September 2018. The time is currently coming up to 10 past 7 a.m. in the morning and what we're looking at here is the 15 minute chart and the one hour chart of the DAX with the price action grid components overlaid. What we've identified here is an area of ResCon, resistive confluence, consisting of these four components of the price action grid, these four sloping components, bull and bear sloping components. We have the daily bull, daily mid bear, the hourly bull, and the hourly mid bear, all converging to form an intersection that may well prove to be an area that price will struggle to get through if it's going to take on yesterday's high. At the moment, price has opened up uh, slightly, moved up at the 7 a.m. open and has set a new high there near the top of this zone above the open. And if price moves on up into this region here, then we'll watch it closely for a potential sell setup. Okay, here's the 15 minute chart and the area on the uh, chart that I mentioned when you look left is this area here. And you can see that this pin here and this pin here that were perfectly on the daily mid bear channel. And we put on the crosshair, we can see that they are at the level of a precisely 12400, which is right in this region here. So this is where the optimum sell may well be keeping a stop above the 12400 level if that fails then price will want to go on and test yesterday's high in the top of this zone so this is all a question of deciding what price action is uh, suggesting is the highest probability and the best value Okay, price spiked up quite quickly there. I've entered a trade at the market using the trade tool. This level here now, the 12400, this area of ResCon, we have the hourly and daily bull channels and the daily and hourly mid bear channels, all in this region here. If it can get through here, it's going to want to take on yesterday's high. But what I've done is just um, taken the trade with the 12400 level um, being the area that I'm hoping will hold. So this is another great example of how the DAX can move very quickly to a target. Um, based on grid structure and you need to be there in the moment uh, anticipating the grid intersection that you think an opportunity could occur and then make sure that you're able to sit and concentrate the trade has started well we are now just um, over a minute and a half into the trade we took it at the level here as i described earlier our take profit to our take profit has automatically been entered down here at the 12376 level which is the mid level of this five minute equidistant zone here's the trade setup on the 15 minute chart that we showed earlier on today with the components of the price action grid here all listed that make up this area of rescon and the other uh, uh, co confluence is the 12400 level there, which I mentioned earlier. So you can see that that's where price came to. We'd already identified this, and our 2R is down here. Now we do have the one minute moving average coming up here, which is a potential MAB. However, as I've mentioned in previous uh, videos where we're trading um, a similar setup, a, a move back down off an area of ResCon, then the moving average will often um, have some energetic influence, but if the ResCon is correctly identified, then it's a low probability M1 MAB if you were considering this as a buy. 
And the higher probability and the higher value is down here where we have the five minute moving average shown in red, which is just below our take profit target there. So we want to see price come down and test the bottom of this, this range here. We need price to come down back into this, this short term range here and test the bottom of it to give us our two hour target. What I'm going to do now is reduce my risk to approximately half while still leaving my stop loss protected by this area of Rescon. If we switch to the 15 minute chart again, you can see how the channel boundaries, where you get this, this intersection here, which we've identified as the area of Rescon, resistive confluence with these four components plus the 12400 level, you can see that um, down here are the next bull and bear boundaries of the channels. There's the hourly bull mid channel, there's the hourly bear mid channel. So um, this is a classic where we see if price cannot hold above these channel intersections, then it will move back down into the appropriate channels. Uh, looking for the next area of support in this case, because it's a, it would be a bear move back down. And then, uh, you know, see, see what price decides to do at that point. But this is a great example of how this region here is very open to now price moving back down into it. Okay. Okay, price has moved on up now and taken me out for a 0.54 R loser on this occasion as I did reduce my risk as shown earlier. It's looking like it wants to go on and take on yesterday's high. So this is one of those trades that uh, began well and certainly a great area to target but on this occasion didn't come down to give us the uh, full 1 R. Uh, sorry, full two hour. We were approximately halfway there about this point here, but that's as good as it got. So overall, I would take this trade again. I couldn't talk myself out of it with the exception of wondering whether yesterday's high was going to be what it wanted to test before moving back down. But apart from that, I really like this area and it was a good timing. We can see what happened, but on this occasion, price wasn't uh, going to move back on down in the short term anyway, below this level here, which we did identify as the key area. So what we did do was reduce our risk to half uh, an hour. Uh, if we hadn't done that, the full one hour would have um, would have been the result. So that's good. That's good trade management on this occasion. That that worked out well. Here's a quick update to what happened after the trade got closed out. You can see that was at this level here where the red line is. That's where I got closed out for 0.54R. Price then went and pushed on up through yesterday's high but failed to hold above it. Um, briefly paused before the bear stepped back in at yesterday's high and sold it down very strongly. And look at this now price. If it continues down to the midline there, that's where our two hour target was from this trade. This trade. There it is there, that little blue line there is the original two hour take profit and we are just about to reach it if price continues on down. So this is the fine margins of trading where we took the trade here. I didn't um, insist on price going up to yesterday's high because I really like this, this area of Rescon and this has worked well in the past. But on this occasion it, uh, it, 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 it didn't hold out because price pushed on up and has since sold off and we'll now wait for the next uh, valid setup to form. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.